In this video, we are going to install Ubuntu Linux on this computer in three simple steps. First, we are going to back up our data so that we don't lose our data. Second, we download Ubuntu from its official website and create a bootable USB. Finally, the third step is to set up Ubuntu Linux. If you don't have a USB or an external hard drive to back up your data, you can also back up your data on a separate drive in your computer. I show you how to create a separate drive for restoring your personal data and for backup. So let us do it. Right click on Windows logo. Then click on Disk Management. These are called partitions. You have this one, this one, this one. If you don't have any other drivers other than your operating system, right click on your operating system drive and shrink it. Click on Shrink Volume. Wait for it. Here you see size of available shrink space in megabyte. Enter the amount of space to shrink in megabyte. You cannot have a number larger than this number. But it is recommended to leave enough space for the operating system. You should not select a number close to this number. Click on shrink. beautiful now here we have almost 10 gigabyte unallocated space which is a free space and we can create a volume from this right click click on new simple volume click on next so the size click on next you can change this for example p then click on next can give it a nice name personal files perform a quick format click on next beautiful click on finish this is something you need later right click on your disk go to properties go to volume and see partition style so based on this later we are going to create a bootable usb flash drive so now if you go to file explorer this device you will see here a new drive double click on it and here you can create folders and copy or move your files create a new folder new folder for example old files open another window for file explorer make it like this step one is done for me i backed up all my data now let us move to the second step for that you need a usb it is recommended that it is minimum 8 gigabyte now open your browser type ubuntu download download ubuntu desktop Here you have for Intel or AMD 64-bit architecture. If you go to the settings, Windows key plus I, click on systems. And if you go to the about system type, 64-bit. And we also see your processor, which in my case is AMD. This is the long term edition 
this is the standard edition click on download now this is going to take a while based on the speed of your internet sign up for our newsletter beautiful ubuntu linux is downloaded now next we need a tool to create bootable usb flash drive rufus rufus download click on it based on your platform 64 or 86 click on the standard type for me it is 64 so i download this one very nice it is done go to your download folder connect your usb flash drive to your computer Selected control X and paste it here. Beautiful. Now double click on Rufus. It detected the USB flash drive automatically. You can change it from here or select it from here. Now boot selection, disk or ISO image. Select it now go to the iso image that we have downloaded old files in this ubuntu with the extension dot iso open it now here partition scheme which one to select it this is target system is only uefi and MBR is BIOS or UEFI and the volume label you can change it if you want and the file system default you can change it to NTFS quick format now click on start all the data on this flash drive will be destroyed it's okay and this is going to take a while okay beautiful it is done close it restore your computer We have to change the boot order so that the system or the computer boot us from USB. So go to BIOS, click on F10. When you are in BIOS, go to system configuration, boot options, USB boot is now disabled, click on it click enter while you are on it and select it enable enable also the cd-rom boot click enter and enable you can use f5 and f6 to move uh, items up or down also change it for the legacy boot order bring usb up f6 is for bringing up bring also the USB CD DVD ROM drive to the top do the same for the legacy boot order click on escape to exit the system configuration go to the exit and enter on exit saving changes enter again yes now click f9 
let us select the first one and click enter now here you have the option try or install ubuntu ubuntu save graphics enter welcome to ubuntu preparing ubuntu welcome to ubuntu choose your language you can scroll around and find the language you want and then click on next beautiful accessibility in ubuntu then click on next to continue keyboard layout for me english us click on next connect it to the internet next what do you want to do with ubuntu install ubuntu or try ubuntu so the first option install ubuntu and click on next how would you like to install ubuntu interactive installation automated installation so the first option interactive click on next what apps would you like to install to start with default or extended select the one that is best for you and click on next install recommended click on next now how do you want to install ubuntu erase desk and install ubuntu and manual installation select manual installation click on next here you see all the partitions this one and below is your usb this one and uh, until here is your hard disk it gave everything a new label so here you can only know from the size which one is your personal file on which drive is the operating system so this one is not click on minus to delete it now you see here free space and this 150 gigabyte is the operating system the windows also click on minus to remove it also the other partitions with uh, megabyte those are also part of the windows remove it for ubuntu to work properly we have to create at least three partitions now click on free space to select it then click on the plus icon 125 use as ext4 mount point slash and click ok it automatically generated another partition for us for the boot partition and we also need a swap area so select it in the free space and click on the plus icon use as swap click on ok now all these three are selected click next to continue with the installation create your account your name for example my name akianos your computer's name coding akianos your username you can change all of it and give a password check require my password to log in and click on next select your location for example for me new york united states review your choices be beautiful now click on install now let us hope that everything goes uh, perfectly and we don't get any error beautiful ubuntu is installed and ready to use restore now
Please remove the installation medium, then press enter. So remove it and press enter. Something kind of important. Beautiful. Now we are in the login page. Use your password to log in. Beautiful. Welcome to Ubuntu View Release Notice. Click on Next here. Ubuntu Pro. Enable Ubuntu Pro. It's okay. Escape for now. And click on Escape and help improve Ubuntu so I prefer to say no then click on next get started with uh, more applications open app center not necessary for now click on finish here you have the browser and the file explorer the trash can and of course app center that's it guys if it was helpful like the video check out my channel i have published many useful helpful courses tutorials tips trickers hackers that can help you with your career with your studies with your projectors and with your everyday life take care and have beautiful times